At Africa Check, we fact check claims that have the potential to mislead people, um, whether they're made by politicians, companies, or other journalists. Um, and we then write up these findings, publish it on our website, and also syndicate it to other media um, to increase its spread. So, what sort of impact does Africa Check have? Africa Check's impact, um, I think, lies in three domains. So, the first is um, that we bring a very basic level of accountability in the countries that we operate. Uh, so we go to the politicians um, who are often not used to being asked to back up their statements um, and ask them for their evidence. Um, and I think that builds trust in the media. Um, it was illustrated recently when the head of the elections um, of the ruling party in South Africa mentions Africa Czech's fact check of the manifesto at, the, um, at the, one of their press conferences. Secondly, we um, work in environments that have a lot of political tension um, and uh, xenophobic tension and uh, a potential for violence. So when mislabeled or misleading content or manipulated content goes viral, it really has the imp uh, potential to, to cause harm, to cause violence. Um, so we quick move quickly and we debunk those images, um, tracing their origins or uh, putting them in the right context. Then thirdly, and this is very close to my heart, um, we focus a lot on health misinformation. Um, so anything from uh, fake Ebola cures to HIV um, hoaxes, uh, anything that people um, can use as the basis for potentially life-changing decisions, um, we look at those claims and, and, and write up our findings. So what are the key challenges of fact-checking in Africa? In Africa, the challenges we experience um, are much the same as elsewhere. Um, time pressures, um, uh, yeah, working, working um, to get the, the fact checks out as quickly as possible. Um, but we also face additional challenges. So uh, people often say there's no data in Africa. That's not true. They are really good data sources, but in some places there are gaps. Um, so for instance, in Kenya, um, they last had an unemployment survey in 2015-2016, in um, so that really hampers our ability to um, paint the correct picture for, for readers. Um, then we also um, have to, uh, the data and mobile access and smartphone access is quite limited, so um, we have to be creative, we go on radio, we um, have partnerships with uh, you know, uh, big uh, newspaper groups, um, to get our work out um, as, as, as widely as possible. And then we also have to think that English or French is not the first language of the majority of our audiences. Um, in fact, um, it's not my first language or, or, or that of most of my colleagues. So um, in that context, explaining intricate things like purchase power parity or, um, uh, you know, um, any statistical concept, we really have to think and work hard to break it down and, and make it really um, easy to understand.